Hello, my cool friend. I've got a new tutorial for you. So, you know, you buy that pattern and you want to make it in a different colorway or with different fabrics and you can't imagine how it will look in the end. You saw it, you are frustrated from the result and it will lay around. So, wouldn't it be nicer to know beforehand how it will look? Here's a nice app and a tutorial for you. The Recolor app comes for iOS systems as well as for Android systems. I put the links below in the description box. There are a couple of apps in the App Store called Recolor. Look for this specific icon to install the correct app. It's free to use, but you'll have to watch ads to color your draft. The free version is limited by three designs per day. The advertising can of course be bypassed with the paid version. Open the app, tap on My Works in the menu bar at the bottom, then on Import it on the menu bar at the top. If you now tap on the Import your own picture button, you will be taken to your photos in your photo app to select a saved layout but most likely you don't have a layout there yet. That means we have to save the layout in the photo app first. If you already have a sheet of your blank layout, you can now simply take a picture of it. If you already have a PDF of your pattern on your mobile device, look for the blank layout in the pattern, take a screenshot, which you then save in your camera roll. Once we have the blank layout in the photo library, we can go back to the Recolor app and now tap the Import Your Own Picture button. The imported layout could be further edited here. Lines can be erased and it can also be cropped or rotated. But I don't need all that in my case and I import the layout as it is by tapping on Next. The layout now appears in the gallery of my imported images. Tap on it, then tap on Continue Coloring. Before the actual coloring begins, the free version makes you watch an ad. And then we can start. On the left bottom corner, you will see a small icon. Tap on it and the list will open. From this list, only the solid colors and the recolor palettes are relevant for coloring quilt layouts. Let's start with the solid colors. If you tap on the bottom right corner of the app, you will see a bar of different color families. Reds, blues, greens and so on. Here you can choose the colors you want to use and then tap on the area you want to color. For my idea, with a grey couch, I will start with a dark grey background and fill in some accent colors. Once you are happy with your color layout, confirm it with a tap in the top right corner saying next and that leads us to step number four. A menu bar opens at the bottom and for coloring quilts we are only interested in the menu filters here. So tap on this and test out the different color filters. First, I want to save my original version with a screenshot to the camera roll. And then I explore the other filters. If you like a variation, you can save it 
with a screenshot before testing other variations. Once you want to save your final draft, just tap the top right corner on the word next and then done. A draft is then saved in the imports, my works, and you can open and change it at any time. If you are having a hard time finding a good color combination, you can use the recolor palettes. They offer you groups of hues that go well together. You can find the recolor palettes in the menu in the left bottom corner. If you tap on the right bottom corner, a bar of a couple of themes will open. For the idea of my gray quilt, I choose cloudy and then I start filling in colors. At the end, I test some color filters for possibly better ideas and I take a screenshot of the best ones. You find the recolor app helpful, but the quilt you want to sew doesn't have a blank coloring layout in the pattern. Well, you can easily make one yourself. Take some tracing paper and a fine liner or pencil and trace the lines of the quilt. But make sure that all lines are connected in such a way that you have closed shapes. Otherwise, the color would flow into the neighboring shape. When you're done tracing, you can then save a picture to the photo library. For our demo, I used the Illustrator app on my iPad to trace the lines cleanly. But that is not necessary. A paper drawing will also do the trick. For this layout, I'm sticking with just one color family, the shades of green. So if you stick to one color family, you can't go wrong with this special layout. And as always, I test variations and save screenshots. If you'd like to print out your draft, open the screenshot and print out this photo. Now you can go shopping with this helper or choose the fabrics from your fabric stash to match the picture. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I have a complete playlist of tutorials. Click on that suggestion here and don't forget to subscribe, to like and to comment so we both can connect.